a full belly from a day spent grazing in the sun filled with love. Hi, babies. And a new baby. A life we Pago, Gizmo, and my maxi cow may have never lived to see. Susan McCoy bought the miniature ponies from Candy Crow from 2011 to 2012. She says Gizmo was in such poor condition, he almost didn't make it. The vet said, send him back, he's going to die. And I said, well, then he's going to die here, loved. But the stallion pulled through. My maxi cow was part of another deal, but she never came. Then in September of 2012, McCoy thought the mare she wanted to call her own was gone. This animal has such bad arthritis, it can hardly walk. Candy Crow of Cave Junction was at the center of an animal abuse investigation. Among her more than 200 victims, my maxi cow. I thought for sure she, then she was one of the dead ones they had found. Crow has a history of animal abuse dating back to 2006. First convicted in 2009 on one count, she was supposed to stay away from animals for five years. She didn't and was convicted in 2013 on four counts, along with 11 counts of animal neglect and seven more of animal abuse. The judge ordered Crow again to stay away from animals. Uh, there was alleged to be a probation violation in that she had contact with animals, which was a, vi uh, which was a violation of her probation terms. Uh, and she entered an admission to that. Josephine County called on Jake Caymans to take on Crow in court after investigators revealed they caught her red-handed again in March of 2015. We were able to secure a $5,000 grant uh, so that taking care of the, the horses involved in that particular case did not cost the, the Josephine County taxpayer a dime. With the animal secured with money from the Animal Legal Defense Fund, the county asked for the state's only animal cruelty deputy district.